I'm sure the older that you became, it's like uh, mother and daughter dances or, you know, a father daughter dance or just having a father and mother to do different things because you grew up with your brother, correct? Correct. So um, how was it when you were growing up in regards to not having that mother, not having that father and just realizing that they're not here, they're gone, you know, it's, it's over? Well, whew, that was hard. It was really hard, but look at me now, you know, I just, I thank God for bringing me this for. Amen. And my brother, he was wonderful, I must say, and I lost him in 1997. But the thing was, he gave me away to my husband that year, that October the 26th of 1996 before he left here. Amen. I thank God. And that's, you know, that's all I can say. I just thank God. Amen. Because if it, it's, it got to be God. <laughs> you know, sometimes you can think that you're the only person going through what you're going through. Um, Ms. Phillips lost her husband. Trakala lost her dad. Mary lost her mother, her father, and her brother, who actually reared her upon her, her parents' death. Not only that, I've lost two little boys um, within three months of each other. And then November of 2005, after my middle son passed away, our family was hit with a very hard tragedy, um, Thanksgiving holiday. My um, brother-in-law, which my husband and I had legally adopted, Nathan Ricardo Tubbs, he actually passed away along with his mother, Ethel Tubbs, Luveda Gates, and his friend Maurice. Now that's a tragedy upon a tragedy, coming from um, Alabama, trying to come back to North Carolina. So if you're sitting there and you're just like, oh my goodness, honey, I'm telling you, this is the time to run to God. This is the time to just cry out to him like never before. And if you're saying, I don't know what to say, all you got to do is surrender and just say, Lord, I need you. Lord, I can't make it without you. It's not a cute way to say it. It's not a correct way to say it. All you got to do is just yield. If you're in the house right now and, and you're just like, what is this that I'm feeling? It's like a warmth. That's the Holy Spirit coming up on you. Just call out his name and say, Jesus, there's so much power in the name of Jesus. This is the time to just let it go and let God have his way in your life. Everything happens in our life for a reason, but just as all of my guests that we've talked about and shared our stories, we're here to empower each other and to encourage each other to, to tell you that you can make it, you can survive. And more importantly, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So just rejoice on today that your loved one is in heaven waiting for you. Your goal is to make sure that you're walking in love, that you're not bitter, that you're not angry, that you're not upset, and you're definitely not jealous and envious of anyone within your heart. You need to have a pure heart so that you too can make it into the kingdom of God. Well, we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be right back to conclude Walking in Our Destiny with Tammy Tubbs. Woman to woman, I pray that you're being blessed. All right, well, God has been faithful. He's kept his word and he has graced all of my guests, Mary Bradford, Miss Francis Phillips, and Miss Trakala Phillips Hibbler, um, to be wonderful women of wisdom. And he has kept them for such a time as this. He has graced them to do phenomenal things in life and to encourage you on this morning to go out and conquer what God has called you to do. There is life after death. Now, we're all living witnesses that God will grace you for such a time as this. If you're needing prayer on this morning, do give me a call 803-600-6456. I am here. I'm ready to answer your questions, to minister to you, to pray with you. I've been where you are. I know what it feels like to want to throw in the towel and say, forget it. I'm done. God, where are you? But I want to encourage you. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You are more than a conqueror. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. All you need to do is just surrender and say, Lord, I trust you. It's all about trusting him in this season. That's all you need to do. Grieving is a part of life. It's okay to grieve, but don't stay in that moment too long for the enemy can truly damage you. What I want you to do on today is to meditate on Isaiah 61 and three, and I'm going to read it to you. So you will definitely know what I want you to actually meditate on. 
to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planning of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Your life should be glorifying God. I know you're going through. I know you're saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to go through this. I lost my child. God, why did you allow this to happen? Stop questioning God. Stop blaming yourself. Stop, you know, asking God why, 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 and ask him why not. He wants to turn that mourning into joy. He wants to give you the garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. So I'm just praying right now that you would let go and allow God to be God in your life. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. You, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to start clapping for you right now that you will begin rejoicing in the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Join me and rejoice. Simply